when we're good, we're very, very good. When we're bad, we're awful. Hello and welcome to episode 37 of Rebuilding Derby. My name is Jamie and uh, in a change to the uh, advertised schedule for today I've got two games for you. Um, in the EFL Cup third round we are away at Stoke City and we then face the same opposition at home in the EFL Championship. Since you were last with me our form has been decidedly mixed. We uh, the last game you saw was the 1-0 uh, win over West Brom. We then beat Rotherham 2-0 in the Championship. We beat Notts County 3-0 in the EFL Cup. And we then lost at home 3-0 in the Championship to Hull. We drew 1-1 away at Ipswich. We lost 1-0 at home to Bristol City. And then last time out, we beat Charlton 2-1. So... Uh, that uh, brings us to today's game, the uh, EFL Cup third round tie away at Stoke City. I will be with you in one moment for the team lineup. Okay, this is the uh, lineup for the uh, Carabao Cup tie away at Stoke City. It's Joe Lumley in goal, the back four of Tom Hamer, Reese Williams, Luke Wolfenden, and Ian Martson. Regan Slater at the base of midfield, Marcus McGuane and Jason Knight in central midfield, Connor Chaplin on the right wing, Ryan Longman on the left, and Joe Gelhart up front. We'll submit the team and give the uh, team talk. And I'm going to absolutely agree with the assistant manager. So we'll point the finger. Uh, pressure is all on them. What do we have to lose? And uh, let's kick the match off. And uh, go and try and cause an upset. So it's Gelhart to Slater, Wolfenden. Back to the keeper. At least we're keeping possession early doors. Back out with Wolfenden again. He goes down the left to Longman. Longman needs some help gets it and it's with Martson in the left back position forward to Knight Slater helps him out Longman back to Slater into McGuane McGuane gives the ball away with a sloppy pass it's McGuane to Williams and the highlight ends so we'll drop a demand more at this stage and it's Stoker through on goal and Tyrese Campbell has made it Stoke City 1, Derby County 0. Disappointing, but at least with it only being one and a half minutes in, we've got plenty of time to turn it round. And we're already on the attack. It's uh, McGuane with a shot, hammered away by Stoke. The highlight ends, so it's one shot apiece. Stokes went in, ours didn't. And next chance we get, we're going to be demanding more again. So let's do that right now. And it's uh, Stoke on the attack again. Down their left hand side. They managed to get it out through Goddess, and he's absolutely creamed one into the top corner. Stoke 2, Derby 0. If we're going to win one and lose one, I'd certainly rather it's this way round. Um, and we've now got a free kick, it's Martson. And Ben Wilmot's put it past his own goalkeeper. But it's not going to count. It's offside, I think. So Regan Slater has suffered an injury, but he's okay. So Godos goes for the spectacular free kick, doesn't score. But Stoker well on top at this point. Martson, but it's into the hands of Horvath, the uh, Stoke goalkeeper. 
too many players are just off it today they're not playing with any degree of confidence at all hammered in and uh, Lumley spills it Catroni picks up the bits and makes it 3-0 to Stoke at this point there's not really a lot I can do game's gone after 26 minutes Gellhart's having a nightmare so let's bring on Adebayo possibly Hamer at half time right. it's Ramsey with a chipped ball over the top it's back to the keeper Lumley to Wolfenden to Martson to Williams to Hamer looking for a way down the right hand side he's found Chaplin Chaplin goes back to Hamer inside to Williams Williams runs it and then finds Knight Longman needs help gets it from Knight Connor Chaplin gets one back it's 3-1 55 minutes to go surely not time enough to get back into the game though Martson to Wolfenden to Slater Chaplin brings it in field goes for the ball over the top Longman has the shot it's blocked for a corner and it's going to be an in swinging corner from Knight to the far stick and it's a free kick to Stoke not sure for what at this point Okay, it's uh, going to be 3-1 at the break by the looks of it. And that isn't at all harsh. Stoke have been far superior to us. Wolfenden to Slater to McGuane, Chaplin, Adibayo, Knight blazes it over the crossbar. Needed to keep his shot down there to have any chance of scoring. And it looks like Longman is going to be the next one off. So let's uh, give him a bit of a rollicking at half time. Uh, Longman off. And I think we'll go with John Jules to come on. And let's uh, take them back onto the pitch. Start the second half. Hit it, hit it with a demand more to begin with. Stoke on the attack again. Pull down the right hand side for Stoke. He's brought down. John Jules gets away with it. And the free kick doesn't amount to anything so we don't see the highlight. Uh, Horvath with the uh, clearance for Stoke. It's headed forward, but Godos picks up the bits. It's with a Tebo. Stoke pinging it around quite comfortably. Pull down the right. Campbell. It's off the crossbar. Hamer down the right hand side. Highlight ends. This time it's a throw in on the left for Derby. Martson to Wolfenden, Knight to John Jules, back to Martson, into Wolfenden, Knight, Slater this time, Adebayo, Hamer to McGuane, Chaplin, the shot is over the bar and harmlessly out for a goal kick. And we need something to change drastically if we're going to get back into this game. It's fired across but to no avail. McWayne is having a nightmare. Right, Hamer off for Kakai. And it's Adi Bayo, Slater to Knight to John Jules. Back to Martson to Slater. Over the top for John Jules to chase. He should keep this in and get a cross in. He does. But we 
can't find the target with the header. Or well, certainly can't beat the goalkeeper with it anyway. Right, let's demand more. We've no subs left and we've loads of players not performing. And it's another really, really poor display. Let's demand more. Stoke with the uh, free kick. Fired across. Lumley makes the save and it's cleared. 20 minutes to go. If we were to get one now it would make things interesting but I don't think we will. No, it's another Stoke highlight. And Cafaro over the top for Catrone. Catrone makes it 4-1. That's game over if it wasn't already. Trainer with his second, Stokes fourth of the game. And that's going to be more than enough for them to uh, comfortably run away with this one. Wilmot looking to uh, add to our uh, misery. Plays in Wilkes. It's Kafaro this time. Back. And now uh, it's uh, Taylor. Wilmot again, pull down the right to Wilkes, rolls, Wilmot back to rolls, he loses out to Knight but it's going to make no difference at all, Knight breaks clear, can't hit the target, sums up our day really, it's been a disappointing one, we just have to take this one on the chin, forget about it and move on. Three added minutes. Fingers crossed they pass without any further highlights or incident. They don't. Stoke have another highlight. Ramsey to Rolls. Cafaro to Ramsey. Ramsey goes for the long ball. Finds his man. And that is the end of the match. So it's uh, Stoke City 4, Derby County 1. We'll be looking for revenge in the league match, which will take place in just a moment. Time now to uh, face Stoke City for a second time today, this time in the uh, Skybet Championship. And the lineup that's going to go and try and win the match is Joe Lumley in goal, back four of Tom Hamer, Curtis Nelson, Alfie Jones, and Ian Martson, Regan Slater at the base of midfield, Marcus McGuane and Max Baird ahead of him, Tyrese John Jules on the right wing, Ryan Longman on the left wing, Josh Coburn up front. Let's submit the team and go and give the team talk. And we're going to tell the lads uh, we want to be impressed, so we'll point the finger. Want to be impressed, go and put on a show. And let's uh, get out there and try and do exactly that. It's Jones running forward with the ball. Plays the ball to the wide right. It's headed forward, but Horvath picks it up easily. And the highlight ends. So we'll demand more. Five minutes gone, still nil nil. Everybody looks reasonably happy. Another couple of points and we'll be on the fringes of the playoffs. So certainly a win today would be massive if we could do it. We're going to try. We've had the better of the game so far, but the uh, XG on both sides is extremely low. It's now a Stoke highlight though, and they've got Etebo on the ball. He's found uh, Delonde, um, Etebo, but Lumley comes and claims from the cross. Lumley, what's he going to do with it? He rolls it to Nelson. Nelson's looking for options. He's found Slater who goes wide left to Longman. Longman down the line but loses the ball. And it's played over the top. Catrone is in. And scores. It's uh, Derby County nil. Stoke City 1. 
this is the level of opposition we're up against. Stoke are a bottom half team, and yet they've got a player of uh, Patrick Catrone's quality in their uh, in their ranks. We just cannot compete with them. Will not to Catrone. Catrone gives the ball away for once. Lumley gives it to Jones. Martson down the left. Goes long, doesn't find his man. O'Hare doesn't find his man either. Martson picks it up. Jones to Slater. Slater, ball to Coburn. Coburn finds John Jules. John Jules finds a, a Derby shirt. Marcus McGuane puts it away and it's Derby 1. Stoke City 1. 28 minutes gone. And let's get a demand more on this one as soon as we can. Okay, we're uh, still waiting for the next highlight and the opportunity to hit them with a demand more. We do have the next highlight. It's a throw in with Martson. Longman to Slater, back to Martson. He finds Bird. Bird is in a bit of a corner, but finds Jones, plays it to Longman, shot's blocked, it's out for a throw in, so we will hit them with a demand more, John Jules, blocked away to Catrone, Catrone goes back, uh, Ibsen Rossi, Cafaro pull down the right for Stoke to Campbell inside for Poole again Joe Lumley saves and it's smashed clear Regan Slater for Osman Kakai that's a decent decision and McGuain is the other one in need of coming off but we might give him a few minutes after half time. So let's say. Um, I don't like what I just saw. And send you back out again. McGuain does need to come off. Uh, but it's who we're going to bring on instead that's the problem. We haven't really got anybody. So we'll have to leave him on at the minute till I work out how to uh, shuffle things around. Martson, and the ball is played back by Kakai to Jones. Martson again, spins, finds Jones. Martson gets it back, Jones again. Martson, Jones. These two are just sharing the ball between them. Jones finally goes the other way to Kakai. Back to Nelson, McGuane into John Jules. John Jules has put it wide. It was easier to score. Absolutely agree. But I'm going to move Nelson into midfield. That's what we're going to do. Curtis Nelson is going to play where Marcus McGuain is. And in fact, we'll swap him with Kakai. And then we'll put Kakai to right back. Hamer to left back. Martson can play in midfield and that sorts that little problem out. Hamer on the left with the throw in to Nelson. Bird to Hamer. Back to Bird. Hamer again. Bird to Nelson. He's found Hamer in space. Tyrus John Jules gets on the end of the cross. Derby County 2, Stoke City 1. We have turned it around temporarily. Hopefully that will become permanent. But let's demand more. I think McGuane needs to come off really. But we don't have a centre back to bring on. That's the problem. A Tebo to Godos. Ramsey. Crossed in by Stoke. Catrone's header. Lumley saves. 
gives it to McGuane. It's played out wide right, but the highlight ends. There's loads of players who are struggling right now. Longman is probably one of the easier ones to replace. Connor Chaplin, bring him on. I think that goal is going to be disallowed. It looks like it. Yes, Catroni's offside. It is very, very tight, but he is offside. And we're into the last 20 minutes. We've got one more sub available. So we'll take John Jules off. Bring on Joe Gellhart. And we'll just see this highlight out. Campbell's shot is blocked, but he's offside anyway. Into the last 10 minutes. We lead 2-1. Can we hold on? I think that's all we're going to do at this stage. We're not there yet. Still two or three minutes to go. Plus three added minutes now, which is more than we wanted. Does land. Ramsey. It's into the box. But it's into the arms of Lumley. And it's now Gelhart with the ball for Derby. Hamer to Martson to Hamer. Plays it into Gelhart. Gelhart to Martson. And that is full time. So we did get revenge. And I think we need to outstretch the arms. We got the result despite not being at our best. Absolutely. And I'll just show you the uh, the league table, and then we'll have a look at the uh, fixtures to uh, decide when we're going to come back. So we'll start with the league table, and let's show you that. That takes us up to ninth. Four wins from eight games. We're on 13 points, just two outside the playoffs. And in terms of when we're going to come back. We'll have a look at it. And I think we will come back at the end of October for Swansea and Blackburn. And that will be on tomorrow's episode. So uh, if you've enjoyed that, please leave a nice thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to my channel for regular Football Manager videos. Thank you very much indeed for watching and goodbye.